Hello everyone, I welcome you all to ATM Creations and to the Zero to Hero series of videos too. In this video, we are going to learn about a simple dot mandala, how to find center, how to draw circles and uh, how to create grids and then paint a simple dot mandala. See, as you can see, I have taken this uh, sketchbook sheet out of a notebook, I mean sketchbook notebook. This is a paper in A4 size. So to find the center for any paper or any surface, either square or rectangle in shape, this is what I do. I have this 60 centimeter scale here and I'm going to keep it connecting the diagonally opposite corners. And once you keep the ruler like this, I'm going to draw a line in the center at random. So here is the line that I drew. Now, I'll do the same thing for the two opposite corners. So these two corners is what I mean. So when you keep the scale for the opposite corner, there is a point where the line and the scale meets. Keep a dot there. And this dot will be the center for this entire page. Now once the dot is uh, done, the rest of the line I'm going to erase it. Now you have two options. You can either measure and mark the radius, then draw circles, or you can draw circles at random without measuring the radius. Now normally, I draw random circles. I never measure the radius. Now, alternatively, what you can do is, let me do something like this first. So for one, two centimeters i have marked the radius so these two circles will be measured circles now let's say i want um, a bigger circle i mean a circle with more space so then i can mark as per the size of the circle that i want and then draw circles accordingly so here the radius is all marked see now i have marked the radius clearly visible. Now I'm going to draw circles using the center dot and these marks. So I'll keep the pointed edge in the center dot and the pencil edge on the marked radius. For the smaller circle, no, when it gets little challenging, I rotate the painting surface. Now I have the comfort of rotating the painting surface since the surface is smaller otherwise you have to be very slow in drawing the smaller circles see the next step is i'm going to divide all the circles into half by drawing a line that divides So now I drew a line, it, this one line divides all the circle into two halves. Now the next step is to keep your protractor. See in this protractor, if you see, there is a center, intersecting center. That center need to be kept exactly on the dot. And make sure 0 and 180 falls on the line. And after that, you can mark angles. Now let's say I want to mark angles at every 30 degrees. So 0 and 180 already falls on this line. Now I'll mark it at 30 and here is 60. Now I'm marking 90. This is 120, 150. Now this is a 360 degree protractor. So I can mark angles for the entire circle in one go. So 180 is here, 210, 240, 270, 300. 330. What if you have a 180 degree protractor? Simple. So you mark the angles for one part of the circle. Just rotate your protractor. Do the same marking again. It's that simple. Now I need to connect the dots. To make sure we are connecting the right dots, when you keep a scale connecting the dots, the, the line 
will always pass through the center dot if the line is passing through the center dot it only means you are connecting the right dots let me show you for example here i am connecting the right dot so the line that i am going to draw will pass through the center dot here now the next is i need to connect two exactly opposite dots in case i am not doing that if i am going to connect this one and this which is actually incorrect i'll just place the scale and show you see now the line will not pass through the center dot but if i am connecting the right dots the line will pass through the center dot this is how i ensure if i am connecting the right dots or not see we found the center we drew circles and then we marked angles kept dots to mark the angles and then we connected the dots now the painting surface is ready with circles and grids to start with dotting now i'll start with dotting in the center there's a considerable amount of space left in the innermost circle here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this nail art tool and keep tiny dots around this dot Now in the next circle I'm going to use this blue tool and keep orange dots. Now when you dot in this kind of a situation you know where you can dot inside the grid or you can opt to dot on the line. Now this time I'm going to dot within the grid. you can leave these dots as it is or normally what i do is i take a nail art tool before these dots get dried up i'll just quickly use the small ball side of this tool dip it on the dot itself and then keep another dot this is how i keep tiny dots so the next circle i'm using the same tool I'm going to use this color yellow and orange alternatively. Now I'm going to dot on the line. Now we have kept dots exactly on the lines. So now there is obviously a lot of gap in between any two dots. We can fill it with varieties of patterns. Let me tell you the first one that I'm planning to do here. you can keep one side swipe like i'm going to do it now like this now in the next circle i'll use orange color and the same tool and i'm going to dot only on the line now we have lot of gap between any two dots here so i'm going to keep swipes on both sides now i'll keep yellow dots using the same tool and i'm going to dot on the line first Now when I dot on the line I'm sure you can see there's a lot of gap in between any two dots here so I can comfortably keep another dot so I'll dot on the line first and then dot in the middle also This is how I'm going to fill this entire circle Now what I'm going to do to fill the space in between any two dots here is I'm going to keep two dots. One, two. I'll pick up paint again. 
one two again one two so this is how i can fill the gap For the next circle, I'll use orange and this pink tool. I'm going to dot on the line first. Now I'm going to give you another filler pattern. So instead of keeping a one side curved swipe, you can also keep a straight swipe. Make sure you take equal amount of paint every time you want to swipe. Now in the last circle, I'm going to keep yellow dots. I'll dot on the line first. So in between these two yellow dots that are on the lines, I can comfortably keep three more dots, but I'm going to keep two dots. Now I'll use this nail art tool and the big ball side of it. I'll dip the big ball on the dot itself and then keep two dots. This is what I'm going to do all over this circle. Though this is a very simple dot mandala, I am sure this came out really well. Thank you for watching this video.